Hello the folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to a brand new episode of the Neil Robertson Pro Career on Snook19. Today it is time to start our defence of the Shanghai Masters title with a first round tie, best of 11 frames against the angry farmer Dave Gilbert. It will be a very, very tough match, but we'll get onto that in just a minute because there's a little bit of admin work to do while we are here. There's been a lot that has gone on since the last episode. In the last episode we lost to Luca Brussel in the quarterfinal of the Yushan Open, as you can see since then. We played in three qualifiers, and the good news is they are matches we all won, so we have qualified for the Indian Open, European Masters, and the China Championship. And we've also seen the Paul Hunter Classic and Six Red World Championship being played. Now, I was discussing in the last video that I might well skip the Paul Hunter Classic, and I have done, because the prize money isn't all that great. I think it's £20,000 for the winner, £10,000 for second, and if you get to the semi-finals, it's £4,000. So it's a lot of work. Um, and if you only get to the last four, you're only getting 4,000. So it's a lot of work, and really, I didn't really think it was worth it. Um, and I've skipped the Six Reds World Championship because it was a format that was decent last year, but it's a format, I've got to be honest, that I wasn't too hunky-dory with. It wasn't the best format, and to be honest, I think it took us a bit out of sorts in terms of, obviously, it's Six Reds rather than 15, and you have to play with a different strategy, and that, after our good start to the season, is something I didn't want to do to halt our progress. But today, we start the Shanghai Mass. So I suppose your question is, who won the Paul Hunter Classic? Well, I can tell you. We skipped the tournament, um, and the final was contested between Ding Junhui and Judd Trump. Ding Junhui getting to his second final um, in three tournaments. He's having a very good start to the season, but unfortunately, he was beaten by Judd Trump in a best-of-seven affair by four frames to two. So looking ahead to the Six Reds World Championship, Judd Trump also in the final there. Could he win two tournaments in a row? He was taking on Mark Williams in the final. I think he was uh, third in the rankings. The reigning champion, Mark Allen. He's not really done much recently, uh, but another Mark was in the final. So was it another Mark who won? It wasn't. Judd Trump won eight frames to six, so a best of 15 there, I think. Yeah, best of 15. A bit of an unusual one, actually, come to think of it. I've never seen a best of 15. A best of 17, best of 11... Best of 13 and best of 15, you rarely, rarely see. But uh, Judd Trump winning that tournament. And uh, continuing with the stats and all the admin stuff, let's have a quick look at the matchup history between myself and David Gilbert before we get into the start of today's match. Now, you'll see it's a good record against Dave Gilbert. We did play against him in the Six Reds last year, our, our only appearance in the Six Reds Championship, in which we beat him in the last 16 in a final frame decided. But not a lot can be taken for that because of the uh, reasons I mentioned earlier. In the Gibraltar Open last 16 of last last season, we beat him by four frames to one. That was a tournament we got to the final of before coming to uh, John Higgins. And then in the Season 2 Players Championship, we also beat him in the last 16. But we take him on in the last 24 of the Shanghai Masters this year. Just want to check that everything's okay, long matches, etc, etc. Um, and we can get into today's match. Now, a few annoying parts that come with today's match. A... And I wasn't expecting to be playing in the first round of the Shanghai Masters. I don't, I don't know if you guys know how it works, so I will explain to you now. There is technically a qualifying round for the Shanghai Masters. The top eight in the rankings get in automatically to that second round. Um, and then rankings 9 to 16, which we are a part of, of course, take Hello, the, the uh, qualifying round. Well, world. you might be saying, well, hang on, that's only four Shanghai matches, Masters. so where does that work? Well, the other eight places are taken up by the four Chinese players that are next in the rankings, so uh, 17 onwards. So that would be the likes of Yan Bing Tao, probably Zhao Xing Tong, and etc, uh, etc. Et and then um, four other Chinese players. I think it's two amateurs and two other Chinese players. Well, I don't have to spell it out to you. David Gilbert isn't a Chinese player. So that's a bit of a glitch on the game's part, unfortunately. Nothing I can do about it. Um, a, I wasn't expected to play in this first round, and you could argue that really this shouldn't be a match that takes place in the first round. So we could have an interesting draw next time out, whereby we play someone potentially outside the top 16. In fact, that, that that's a definite that somebody outside the top 16 is going to get to the first round. Now, that isn't abnormal because, of course, one of the Chinese wild cards could get through, but I, I don't really know how that works because if two of the two of the players from 9 to 16 are in this match. Therefore, there's got to be one match, unless I'm being really daft with my maths, where there's going to be two players outside... The, oh, dear, we've missed that red. That's not a good start. There's going to be two players outside of the top 16 taking each other on. Well, Because if you think I'm about it, there's two players here, and that's an absolute oh, stinker yes. of a shot, by the way. So our only option is just playing to the reds here. 
But I guess there's no point going on about it too much. But a bit of a frustration from the game's part um, that this has happened. It was absolutely fine last year. We had to take part in the first round last year. And we played against Fan Seng He, which would work. It, it, would, it would make sense as one of the players that would be indeed be in that round. But uh, not the same this time. And I guess it's just something we're going to have to deal with. But because of that, A, we are actually playing in this round. Uh, and B, it's a lot harder than I was expecting. You know, any player, of course, is a hard player to play. But if you're asking me the question of whether I'd rather play Fan Seng He in this game over Dave Gilbert, well, I think you know what my answer to that is. But uh, just a safety tuck on there by Dave. I'm surprised he didn't go for the pot. Obviously, didn't see much potential for a break. But again, for those of you who don't know, this is an invitational tournament. So no ranking benefits from this. I probably wouldn't have played in this event, to be honest, if uh, you know I was playing normally. But we are defending our title. It would seem silly not to come and defend our title. And it would be a big boost. Obviously, it's the best of the best playing in this event. So it would only be right to, to play here and... Test our metal against the best players. I am going to take this on, you know. It's a risk, but I'm going to take this red on. I am umming and R in between not playing in the master. Oh, we've missed that, but I think we've got away with it. We pretty much have, yeah. I'm umming and R in between not playing in the Daffabet Masters this year. Uh, but again, we've done very well in that. It would be, I guess it would be nice to play in the tournament, but again, we are looking for that ranking status this year and like I say I've only really come to play this tournament because of the um, defending our title and obviously we've already won the Masters title in season two so I, I don't know whether I'm going to play in that but I think I will judge close to the time whether it's going to be beneficial for our game but uh, anyway back to the snooker for the first time we are in here we've got the first chance Long pot's on, and he's going for it. Let's see what we can make of this. We played quite well, actually, particularly in our third qualifying match. I know you guys haven't seen the results of those yet, but we did play Hamad Mia. Uh, I know, not the best player in the world, but you don't expect to play those players in the qualifiers. And uh, we had a few tidy breaks in that match. It was a best of three, so quite a short match. So a bit of a risky match uh, choice, really, to play those short matches because it could have very easily gone wrong and we could have been out. Um... <laughs> and I will admit, uh, because it is a bit later on now, and, well, Long pot. there's no That's harm nice. from it, that uh, last year, when I said I'd skipped the Yushan World Open, I think it was the Yushan World Open, or it was the Indian Open, it was one of those, because I think we only oh. skipped uh, those two tournaments. By the way, that was a poor shot, so it's going to have to be a, uh, a safety shot here, unfortunately. But you know what I'm going to say, don't you? We uh, The only reason we skipped that tournament is because, indeed, we... Um, got knocked out of the qualifiers, and at that point, I didn't want to. I didn't want to disclose we'd been knocked out. I was. I was still very hurt after uh, going out of the world championship in season two. Interesting, interesting shot there. Don't really want to go straight into the pack, but I think if we play this shot, we should be okay. Need to play is pretty much bang on, which we haven't really. But, uh, no, we're not really safe. We should have played that at the right pace. Really if you're going to play that shot, you've got to play it at the right pace. Simple. He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. Ooh, that's a poor miss from Dave Gilbert. Not the quality we'd expect that is a poor players. miss. So, I think that's very much a get-out-of-jail free card there. It really is. That's a shocker. And a few good chances. I'm going to take this red on, though. It seems a bit... Easier. Our best chance to get a break started, and well, that red would have gone, but we didn't play it with enough angle. And uh, neither player really starting well here, so maybe having this first round qualifier is quite nice, but it is a pain in the backside, really. I didn't really want to play in this match, but <laughs> you've got to get through it. So we could go from winning the tournament last year to going out in this round. It's very possible that can happen, and obviously. It can happen in any tournament, but you know when you're playing a qualifier against a player who's ranked past 100 in this game, it's pretty unlikely, unless you are playing abysmally, that you're going to lose to them. Which can happen, but over a best of 11. With someone like Fan saying here, you expect to beat them. But I have to say that myself or Gilbert aren't playing anywhere better than the likes of Fan saying here, really. It's been quite a scrappy start. 
And either player getting on a sort of foothold on this game. And it's in frames like this where we could do with winning it, but as you can see, it's just one of those that could go on and on and on. Neither player's going to compromise too much, I wouldn't say. They're not going to... Uh, comp uh, I think the word is compromise, isn't it? Yeah. Neither player's going to be too compromising. I'm not going to give their opponent a chance. That could be a good safety shot, by the way. Didn't really want to hit the green that thick. Bit of a tricky one for him though now. Yeah, because black and pink avoid him playing off the reds in terms of just a thin nick. So that's a good shot from him though. Great shot. That is a good that's shot a from really good Dave Gilbert. I'm going to have to use two cushions here to get out of this. Ah, it's a good shot. Very lucky actually. <laughs> it very rarely happens, but a nice hit of the jaw there to, to guide the cue ball towards the bulk rather than in a diagonal uh, position. And he's missed the reds there. That was a shocker. Foul and a miss. Neil Robertson. I think there is a red that might go, you know, but we're going to force him to retake this. Is he snookered? Is that why? Well, he's missed it again. And the free foul, the foul and the miss rule comes in here and... We would be stupid not to get him to retake this. This could be effectively a free frame. Neil Robertson, four. Let's see how he gets on. If he doesn't hit these this time round, we win the first frame. He's going to hit them this time. He's going to hit them this time. It looks good. Looks about right. No. Well, a bit of drama to start off our campaign here as we win the first frame through the free miss rule. I thought he was going to hit them that time. It just looked right. The angle did, but three fouls in a row where he can see the reds and uh, he's conceded the frame because of that. He has to concede the frame. It's not a voluntary thing. And, uh, well, that has put this game into life, really. The first frame's over and neither player's had a sizable break. So, what a strange start to this match. And I feel like this could be a catalyst. could be a great chance. Uh, if we can go nick the second frame for Gilbert to be one or two behind and not really know anything about it. But we are gonna gonna have to play a bit of a aggressive safety here. Looks okay. Mm, might not quite be though. We've covered on most of the balls, but the one ball that he did cover before with the green, he uh, can have a chance of potting this. was a long first frame anyway, so it's not like the video's going to be any shorter. But he's missed the red. I have to say, Gilbert looks really poor. Really does. I'd be worried if I was him. I mean, I know we're not looking great, but I don't think we've had a particular chance to show what we're made of yet. But Gilbert's been shocking. One. Bit of an awkward on here. I don't particularly know what to do. I'm try and get the cue ball on the black cushion, I think, here. He's on a real roll here. Ah, that's a good shot. That's a good shot. I just wasn't sure about any of those three reds that might well have gone instead, so I, uh, I heard on the side of caution there. Went for the one I knew I could get to. And I think it's just a case of going for the blue here, getting just about bulk side of it, potting the red first, of course, which we have. Get just about bulk side of the blue and then just make an opportunity because these reds are in a bit of an awkward position Seven. and that's just enough to swerve the cue, get the cue, not swerve it, sorry, get the cue ball in a position where we can get something free. This with plenty of power. A bit less power because the game never likes you seeming to hit anything 100%. And that's more like it, bit of a split. It's, it's still not the best, there's still... Red's blocking one another, and uh, it would have been great if that red went to the middle pocket, but, well, it's it's a challenging pot to continue this break. It's a huge chance for Gilbert if we miss this. Ah, good shot. Good pot. 
And that wasn't as easy as it looked. That was uh, a risky shot to take on. And I think we're going to be forced to take on the yellow here. So just a bit of a hit and hope shot. I'd be surprised if we land on anything here. We might well do though. We might well do. I don't really think we have unless there's a... Well, oh, the, well, there's that one to the middle pocket. I think this one to the middle pocket's more attractive though. The stride to the shot, the easier the position is. Good pot. And uh, you know, if we can continue like this, Gilbert could be too behind me about really having too much to say about it. That's one of his trademark long pots. Brilliant. Obviously, it was a shocker, wasn't it? That we had the free miss rule come into effect. That's very rare that comes into any sort of effect, but it did there, and uh, it is to our advantage. It's only come into effect once in this career mode for us with the game against uh, Luca Brussel again this season in the Riga Masters. So might well be an update where players do play those shots a bit more often. Oh, well, I wasn't uh, expecting that. Pink off its box, the red's right there. I should have checked that, really, because it does leave us in a very precarious position here. Not really on anything, but that was a, that was a poor shot from us, really. Bit of an all or nothing shot though, isn't it? Eww. There isn't really a way of getting out of here. We can try and play it and hope we avoid everything. Not an easy one, but Don't see us potting this. No, we're not bad though. Just wider the mark. We haven't quite got away with that, but it wasn't a bad shot considering where we were, but it was a very poor positional to start with. You could see we were trying to snoo uh, screw back to get on the red right by the pink, but that's not possible. Well, Gilbert's got another chance to show what he's made of here. And that's more like what? it. Much better long pot. Needs another one here. I'm guessing he'll go for the blue. Well, he's got to, really. No. Well, that is... I'll tell you what, that is unfortunate. really is. And I'll tell you what's really unfortunate. That red that we were targeting earlier has, has come available as soon as uh, he's hit that. I have to say, he's been a bit unfortunate, but just... just one. Smashing at these shots a bit, just trying to grab his chance, and uh, the the blue was pretty much bob on to go in. There was well, there was certainly no complaints on my end. I didn't think that there was going to be a problem with him potting that blue, but uh, well, he didn't play the best shot. Just played it a bit too hard, snatched at it a little bit, and Six. he missed it. But I have to say, our positional was not great there. Not great at all. So we need a good shot here to pop this red. Well, this isn't easy. The left nope, not quite there. And that Sorry, gives Gilbert there. another chance. So even though we're looking the better player, we're not that much better. This is really the Neil time to, to pounce seven. on a big mistake. But he's looking not quite doing that. And to get more chances we give Gilbert, he's actually going to probably take one at some point. One. Does that black go now? No, it doesn't. Taking the green on. But we know Gilbert's a good player. Don't be fooled by some of his questionable play. Going for the pink to this pocket. Well, that was... I don't even know if he was taking the pot on there. But if he was, that was a stupid shot. Not nearly enough power in that. I can only think he's trying to... I, I, I really can't comment on what he's tried to play there. I'm just baffled. There wasn't really an attempt at anything, was there? There was certainly not enough power for a pot. There wasn't any shot attempted, I don't think, there. It was a bit of a half-hearted effort at, at, at about nothing, really. Very strange shot. We know he's blessed with great Q power, and, that's a great and I think that, based off him not taking much off that chance, we really need to take this one. And go and seal the frame. Because Gilbert's having a disaster so far. As I said, we're not playing much better, but... I just need well, to get through this. He's taking on the long pot here. Anything looks possible when he's queuing this well. 
It's going to be those, those last two reds that are the problem. We can get to this red, go for the blue screw back and go for the next red. I've got no problem with that, but it's the, it's the two reds after that's the head scratcher. Uh, but actually, we won't need to have scratch our heads too much because if we can pop the blue, which isn't the best angle to be honest, so we might be struggling for position here, but we'll go for it. But if we pot this and pot the next red... That's a bit sloppy. He's oh, I could have done me hitting the pink there, really. 18. It's unfortunate. Well, you'd think if we just nick this red that... Unless we go in off or something daft, will be that nothing will go wrong for us here. The cue ball's going to be fairly safe. I think it is. He snookered on two of the reds. He can just get to the one. Huh, and he's done the same again. Surely it's not going to come down to the free miss rule again. No real advantage here. And he's put his opponents in again. Well, he's just about hit the red this time. I'm glad about that because if it had been two frames with the free miss rule, I get that we'd pretty much won the frame, but that would be bordering on stupidity. So we're opening things up a little bit here. But that's a nice angle. What can you do from there? Can't really play thin off any of these because we're in a position where you're just going to knock into them. Although that's about as good as you can play that. That's a very good shot. You could say a bit lucky perhaps, but good shot nonetheless. I need to play as thin as possible off this. I'll tell you what, it was actually a very good shot from Dave. It really was. Just needs this red. And I think we're going to go for the pot here. Oh, so Not close. quite. He needed some luck there and he did. Need a bit of luck with his yellow, actually. That would be nice. Mm, not quite. Could this be a way back into the frame for Gilbert? He's got to clear everything here. 50 behind with 51 remaining. And he's going to have to take on the green here. So he'll need at least one snooker. 46 behind. 43 remaining now. David Gilbert. And, uh, well... That hope of getting a snooker ended pretty quickly as long as we're not stupid here and we pot this red. Yep, it's there. One. And that should be the second frame. That should be second frame one. Might as well pot this uh, blue. Lining and then just knock the ball down, hit the red at least down, obviously concede a foul. And that should be it for the frame. I can't see him coming back being, I think, 52 behind with 35 on. Six. It's a very peculiar situation so far, but we have taken advantage, and at this point, we lead by two. Neil Robertson, six. Frame conceded. Frame, Neil Robertson. And now, the frame is his. So, it's just well, a break here in this uh, third voted. frame. Big frame, this, for, for both players, I'd argue, especially for Dave, of course. If he doesn't win this one, then it's a long way back from 3-0 down. And the building work started. Awesome. <laughs> long way back for Gilbert if he can't win this frame. Equally for us, it's a great chance if we can get 3-0 up. Well, it's probably a half chance at the start here. Um, I've got to be careful. I've got to hit this one thin. I'm not going to play the pot, by the way. Got to hit this one thin, or else we do potentially hit... No, we're okay. We could have potentially hit the other red, but this looks like it's got a good line. Oh, that looks like a lovely line. Just about skims Excellent. that yellow. Not quite a snooker, but uh, very close to being so. As I said a little bit earlier, this is a big frame, and it looks like Gilbert might be starting that frame poorly. Just about misses that corner pocket. That was a very big stroke of luck. For uh, Gilbert. I hope to hit this a bit thicker just to try and shoo away any easy safety shot for him ne next go round. That's perfect. Makes it a bit more awkward now. The pink might well cover that thin shot to the side. Yeah, it looks like it has. So that's, that's good news for us. So that's play a bit more of a thicker shot, which I'm happy with, but doesn't leave anything on particularly. Leaves a bit of a sniff. Mm, I'm tempted at this actually. Got to commit to this, I think. So I'm going to go for it, but we, we've got to commit oh, to this. The red on. And it's there, cracking pot. Yeah, not the best split. 
He'll be disappointed. Not the best split, I tell you what. Neil Folds obviously sees the opposite of what I see. I mean, I get players play differently and all that, but that to me is a cracking split. Yet there are splits that um, we've made one, in previous matches chance. where I thought they're diabolical, and Neil Folds are going, well, that's a good split. I'm like, well, hmm, debatable. But for me, Superb you can't get much better there. than that. Ideal you really position. can't. Three or four reds out in the open. Um, chance to develop a lot more. I, I can't see an opposition towards us winning the frame now, or, or unless we play a shot like that. I mean, that was diabolical. We've got pink and blue on, and to be honest, we didn't really play a shot that's left us ideal on either of them. So that isn't great. Not ideal at all. Got to pop this first, and we're just about okay, but we could have very easily missed that if we'd have got our angles yeah. wrong. So, very nearly jinxing ourselves there, very early on. Just tap this off the Maximus. cushion. Hopefully we can see the blue from here. No, we can't. Well, that's a disaster. <laughs> well, maybe Neil Fold was right. Maybe he was right. So, we've got to play this in a way that gets it close to the middle of the table. Obviously, we haven't got the blue as cover, but that's a good shot. That is a good shot. Neil I think Robertson. that covers off all the three obvious reds. I feel like it does anyway. There might still be a gap. No. Well, he's playing off the cushion. And that's an interesting shot for him to that's have played there. It is a shocker, and I don't think he had to really play that. That is a strange shot from Dave Gilbert, but I guess we've had plenty of those anyway so far, so it's not the biggest shock in the world. Not the easiest to pot either, though. That wasn't. I wasn't too comfortable with it. One. The blue is still potable from here. Can't get to the pink, so the blue is our best chance. Those bulk colours don't look too inviting, so yeah, blue is definitely our best chance. Lining the blue ball up here. But there's been several occasions now. There's been several shots. Dave Gilbert's just not on his game. So, uh, at the end of the day, we'll just try and take advantage of that the best we can. I don't think there's anything wrong with trying to do that. But equally, you know, I think the problem with this game, not the problem with the game as such, but the problem with my expectation is that you're going to be played really well against by a top 16 player. And, of course, in real life, the big players have their bad days. So... You know, I suppose it's true to form, but it it does seem like it's a bit of a one or the other situation on Snooker 19. It's either they absolutely whoop you and have a really good day, um, or, or it's the other way around. And I think maybe, to be honest, it's probably because we either play well or we play crap. It, it's the same with us as it is with the AI, I suppose, that we have a good day or we have a really bad day. There aren't many occasions recently where so, so, well, we, we played okay there. You know, the we've played really game. well or we played terribly. In it goes. So that might be con contributing oh, to it, potentially. Shot. But again, this is a funny one. I mean, Neil Folds, all oh, wonderful shot. I don't actually think we're... Yes, the black's on, but at that angle, no thank you. And yellow's not potable, nor's blue. So I think we're going to have to take the black on. But uh, not a shot I really want to take on at this point, to be honest. I mean, the position, we're just going to have to hope we fluke it. But here. I don't think this is an easy shot. But it's there, it's a good pot, Wonderful. and we might just be about, just about be on this red, I think the black might go back, so that's scuppered our chance of being on that one, but there are plenty that go to the middle pocket here, so I guess all isn't lost. This won't be easy. Correct, these pots the middle pocket are never guaranteed, but it's there, players. good pot. Just look at that for a <clears> and obviously, I think at 3-0, it's not quite game over, but in some ways it's as good as... I'll put it this way, especially at 4 0. It's, it's just game over, isn't it? Yeah, Got to pot the blue, the though. Pocket. But it's there. We potted it well. Played that way too hard, but it's okay. Very there well are played. multiple shots, and, well, even though we didn't intend to play it like that, it makes it look quite a good shot now, actually. Looking at that, but that's not the way we intended to play that. I don't think the black goes here, so don't worry. I wasn't intending on playing for the black. 
it does there, we'll go for it. But no, it doesn't. So that's that's okay. I'm okay with that. We were playing for the blue, so don't think it's a <laughs> it's a shot gone wrong. I mean, you know, I'm quite happy to admit when a shot goes wrong because it, it goes wrong quite usually. That's why we're not doing fantastic. We've had a decent start to the season. Semi-final first tournament, quarter-final second tournament. So you know, it, it's it's a good start. We've recovered well from that bad match against Ronnie. Because sometimes if you've had a bad end to the season, you can take four or five events of the new season getting back into it. But I don't think we've been guilty of that so far. Third. I think we've been okay. Get this red out of the way so the black is uh, visible to both pockets. 37. Big fried to win, though, this. Especially if uh, Mr. Gilbert <clears throat> doesn't score a single point. I've got a bit of a frog in my throat now, which isn't great. Hopefully we'll get through it. But if Gilbert doesn't score any points here, then 38. he's in a really bad position. Obviously, it makes us look good, and you know we'll have a good day out of it. Hopefully, I couldn't, I can't see us losing from three nil up, but it can very easily happen. I mean, I'm not shying away from that. That can happen. Center pocket here. One thing that I am pretty confident is that we're going to win this frame now. 58 ahead, just the blue needed. So, just this blue required. Trademark pot for us, standard pot, and it's there. Excellent queuing. So, within the space of half an hour, back in this frame for we're, uh, we're freeing a lup, and 51. that's not a luxury There's that I was expecting this. against Dave Gilbert. He's just not been on his game today at all. Nicely positioned for the blue here. And I know we've beaten Dave Gilbert when we played him in the past, but even so, he's a top 16 player. You do expect a certain calibre of snooker from a top 16 player. And I know it's early days in today's match. It might well be a case that he gets into it, but it's uh, it, it's not ideal situation for Dave. It really isn't. I don't think anybody would pick to be 3-0 down. Makes the next frame. If he wants to go and win this match, it makes that next frame a must-win. Fifty-eight. Because 4-0 down, ugh, yeah, I can't see a way back. You know, joking apart, of course, it can happen, but it would be a mightily good performance, especially seeing what he's doing Not at the moment. One, but it would be chance. a massive performance from Dave Gilbert to bring it back. That's a top shot. Well played. And credit to us, we're playing well, so... 66. You know, if... I mean, at 3 0, it's tough, this but 4 0. I think it's just one step too far. Seventy-three. But it's a match in hindsight we shouldn't really be playing because, you know, if we were in real life, well, we would be the top seed having won the event last year, so we would have been through to the last 16 anyway. 74. And I suppose the person who was ranked number eight would be ninth seed, but then I suppose if in game that happens, somebody would be a bit confused about it. Again, that's why we need tournament trees, past winners, and a bit more sort of. I mean, the game enough is realistic. The gameplay of it is. Uh, and that's a credit to Snooker 19, something that other games don't capture, but it's the whole experience that needs work, I think. But, uh, you know, this is the first effort from uh, Lab 42 and. Well, it's been on the channel for a year and a half, so that just shows how much I think of this game and how brilliant it's been. On the brown but there are definitely improvements that need to be made. Uh, you know, again, not shying away from that either. Now for all those pillocks who, I mean, nobody will be watching this no video wouldn't have thought who thinks like this, is, but so the pillocks who say, well, this is terrible, it's PS2 graphics, it, it's not. <clears throat> you know, try go back, play... World Snooker 04 or 05. And if you haven't got those games, feel free to go back and watch me playing He's World Snooker 04. So you probably won't last long watching those because we, our play was dreadful. But if you're saying that this is on a par with World Snooker 04, well, yeah, what can I say? <laughs> but uh, changing the subject back to this match with that Fantastic black, it's a cracking clearance. clearance. Did we make a century there? We did, 106 was the break. The so our first century of the Shanghai Masters, our second century of the season, and we leave Dave Gilbert by three frames to nil. And uh, this last frame of the episode 
It's a big one. It's not particularly for us. You know, we can take losing. It'd be awesome to go four and a lot, but if we don't, again, it's not the end of the world for us. But you have to save Dave Gilbert doesn't win the frame, and we go four and a lot. Um, then it really is a dire situation. Well, he's left an opportunity here. Wasn't the best of shots from us, admittedly. I think he'll, he's got to play the plant. Oh, well, he can see the red. I didn't think he could. But now that's a good shot. So this might well be his chance. Not a lot we could do to put him. So it was a good break-off from Dave Gilbert. Not much we can praise him for so far today. But no, he's, he's done well there. Credit to him. Nine. But he's out yeah. of position already. That was a shocker. David Just Gilbert signs of a man who's got very little confidence. And I suppose after his start, who can really blame him? Uh, got to play in a way that we hit this thick enough, but also avoid the red on the way back. And that was pretty well done, but I don't think we're going to get a good enough safety unless we can... That was a good shot, that. I don't think we've covered it. I think he can still see this, but it was a good shot. Obviously, as the other red, he can see as well, so he's not completely snooker. And he has gone for that red. A bit thicker than I think he would have liked to have played that, I would say. Let's just get this, this cue ball. Oh, I need to play this. To be honest, we are close to the cushion, so it was a bit. What I was going to do is a bit of a half attempt to pot in this red. So close, but he's missed it. And we've that missed it, but you know, wouldn't, we haven't really left too much on. That ball has gone pretty well back into the pack. He might have a sniff at a pot here, but I think it was a sensible enough shot to play. There wasn't too much risk involved. Yes. Obviously, if we'd have absolutely on. whacked it, then we could have let him in. But let's see if this goes in. It looks like he's got a good line, and it's going to be there. Good pot. What a fabulous pot that is. Dave, uh, I was going to say Dave Gilbert. Dave Hendon quite enjoyed that one. So that was a bit of a stinker of a split. We've had plenty of those in the past. Where we've played the shot to get the split and they've got none at all. But luckily he's got another chance because he's got the long red. If he pots that, he's probably got the black that he's looking to get a pot on. And open up the reds. But these next two shots, I would say, are pretty big for Dave Gilbert's future in this Shanghai this Masters. The left corner pocket. Nope, he's missed that. That's a shocker. Gilbert, six. Really is. Unfortunately, we can't. Pot this, which is a bummer, but uh, that's just the way it goes sometimes. Let's play this quite aggressively. And hope we'll get the safety. We don't want to hit that green full ball. A bit more power on that, and that'd have been nice to be behind the brown. But the way he played that, he got away with it a little. But no uh, where he's left that cue ball is no way he's going to open up any more reds, especially when he misses the black like that. I mean, I suppose that is forgivable where he's uh, come from there. But very basic shot for us here. Not taking any risks, just playing to the cushion. And, uh, well, if he wants to try and get the snooker, then fair play to him. But he just plays the cue ball back up the table. Could be in for a bit of safety here. Very thin nick off the edge red. Got a chance. There's a few big targets up here. Particularly between that yellow and black that are both off the spot. The brown, uh, the brown's the Great only ball on its spot. So well, I suppose really the pink is. The brown and the pink, the only two on the spot. Oof, very goes close to going in off there. I thought he might well have done. Looking at the angles there. So he's looking to play safe again. This is fascinating. Alan McManus would be proud. Oh, this could be a good line. Don't hit this full ball. Ah, it's a bit too thick there. A bit thinner. That might have just floated in behind the yellow. I don't quite think it would have done, but perhaps. You never know. Oh, that's unlucky, though. I will give him that. That is unlucky. That was very nearly a cracking safety. We have let one red go, though, and, uh, well, for the third opportunity in the fourth frame, Dave Gilbert's going to get a sniff at a pot. Not taking it on, though. Well, I wouldn't thought he was taking it on with that sort of shot. He might well have done, though, because it's not ended up well place for him. But he might well have been taking that on. Coming up. Just can't tell sometimes. 
That's a top shot. Wasn't a great safety anyway, if that was what he was intending, but One. I think we might as well try and play safety here. Don't try and pot the black. That would be uh, a real disaster. I think we've hit this a bit hard, to be honest. Yeah, just a little bit too hard. I think it's 17.7% we'd have been all right. I'm just fearing he gets us into a snooker here because, you know, he'll have enough chances at some point. Those two reds on the cushion are cleverly placed there. Just about missed those, but this could be a good line. This could be a good line. This could be a very good line. That's what he was going for. Cracker. And he's played it well. And he's really opened those up. Has he left anything on? Nothing easy. He's left a sniff, but he's as we know, these aren't easy. I'm not fancying this really, but got to take it on. It's there. So a good pot, but we had to play with safety in mind there. We had to. But the big plus here is that we can get the black on its spot oh. if we want to. Just a tap in, and I know it'd be a tricky pot along the cushion, but that's really our only only option here. Hmm, hit that even a bit too hard. Eight. But I think you know, taking not taking liberties here, but given our position, I think it's worthwhile going for this along the cushion. Don't think we've hit this hard enough. This needs to travel, and it has. Oh, that's a top Wasn't far shot. off uh, being a big mistake there. Nine. He's going to hit this, this one the hard and true. See how we end up. Beautifully done. This might end up quite good, actually. Yeah, the cue ball has travelled. So, for once, we seem to be getting the look of the draw. Well. But I think sometimes luck does come with playing well. Pace is very important. The two sometimes are hand in hand. And you have to say, this is a good chance now to go 4 up. It's still early days in the frame. We've only got a break of four, uh, 13 even, sorry, not 14. I do avoid in these two reds. Just got to be careful we can get in between them. Not the end of the world if we didn't, but just wanted to leave a clean potting chance on. Hmm. That's not great, that isn't, to be honest, the position from that. That's it. This one for some pace, then. That's it. Come off the cushion a bit too much, to be honest, but should be okay. Twenty-one. Again, it's not ideal. And the black, I don't think, goes from there. It would be close. It'd be marginal. But I've just got a feeling that where I was going to stop the the aiming aid to go That's in, it point. was a little really bit past destroyed. that. So. Wouldn't want to take the risk, especially when we've got the blue to take on. Our trademark pot. The cheap blue, as it was called in the Virtual World Championships, which, oh my goodness, was six months ago. I mean, 2020 has absolutely flown, hasn't it? Nice position on the black. Six months ago, wow. 27. Scary. Very, very scary. I just realised, you know, hitting that, we've hit that probably too hard. I was looking to get on one of these two reds to the middle pocket, and we've made that quite difficult for ourselves now. be a good shot if we pot this, but we've made it a lot harder than I wanted it to be. Looks good, though. That's a brilliant shot. It's a brilliant recovery, but nevertheless, the original shot, the original plan for the shot was ill thought out. I'm trying to be careful that... We avoid something like that well, in the future. I'm not surprised he's taking on the long pot here. Oh, we've hit that too hard as well. Just a few mistakes starting to creep in here, and it's a bit of a concern. 40. We're going to have to be forced to play a safe shot here, but I don't know if we're going to hit the black on the way back up. It's tricky to tell sometimes. Guess what we could do. Just play to the cushion here. We're not going to leave a pot on, so we will be very careful this doesn't go to the corner pocket, but no, it's okay. Neil I mean, if we, you could play tactically and go in off there because it wouldn't be a disaster. I suppose they would probably force you to continue, though. That's the only issue. 
Can I go for a bit of a shot to nothing here? Yeah. Don't see the harm. That's a wonderful and sometimes when you do go to a shot to nothing, it works. But if you look at the pace on that cue ball, it would have been safe anyway. And I think I'm going to play the tactic that I think is, is fair at this point. Maybe not the sporting tactic. We need to make sure we hit this, though, because we've had... Several occasions where it's not happened. Just play up in behind the brown. An excellent shot. And try and infuriate him a bit more. Neil and uh, see how we go here. Again, not the best chance, but it gives us a sniff. Certainly a better chance than we had before. And another red, and another red closer to taking a 4 nil lead going into the next session. Remember, it's first to six in this match, so... You know, I don't want to cast illusions, and I don't want to make uh, the next episode unattractive to watch. But you have to say that at 4 nil up, it's a long way back for Dave Gilbert. Six. And we are looking at a Shall potential 6 nil situation here. here. Got to win the frame first, though. You know, it's not all over yet. Don't want to get too Position cocky just yet. To me. But with this pink, we should pretty much secure this it. This is the key shot. If this That's goes why in, I'm not playing an ideal positional shot for the red here. Although, please Good travel, shot. please travel, because we could well have That's snookered real. ourselves here. No, real way for his opponent to win the frame now. No, we've not quite snookered yeah, ourselves, he... but we have left ourselves a bit of an issue where we pop the cue oh, ball. That is unbelievable. Why did we do that? Oh, well, man. Why? Gilbert, have a David. brain, man. David Gilbert. <sighs> That's the kind of stupidity that comes into my game sometimes. Just thinking you're over the line and you're okay. Well, I'll tell you what, I really hope that we haven't mucked this up for ourselves, but I think it would serve us right if it did. Although, I think he's going to miss the green here. No, he is going to drop it in. That's a bloody good shot. But obviously, understandably, playing the safety already here. Oh, I don't see the harm in going for a bit of a wacky shot. A chance, but a chance nonetheless. No. Because obviously he does need snookers now he's knocked up that. And funnily enough, we've got a snooker of our own, I think. And that is a tricky one to get out of. He's going to have to swerve his way out of that. And, uh, well, would you look at that? It's a bit unfortunate. I think he's left that straight onto the pocket, and he has. So we get away with it, I think. As I say, I think we're very lucky to... Get away with that. Because um, it wasn't really good enough from us. I mean, that wasn't great either, but we should clear the middle pocket. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. And we should take a 4 0 lead here. No, he's going to play on. That's understandable. And I was going to say, we could have shot ourselves in the foot there, and I think we might well have done. I know I've said before I'm not too great at getting out of snookers. I think the up and down the table model isn't a bad idea here. Just giving it a almighty whack. As long as we don't... I mean, we have got two goes at this. If we commit a foul, we'll be 27 ahead. Oh, we've just missed that. But uh, we've got a good eye line for next time out. If we go for this... Problem is, I just can't remember where we hit it, and he's going to play really on himself. Well, might well be Five. another snooker David chance, Gilbert. and Four. that's a shocker. This won't be easy. Whether he couldn't force us to retake there, I'm not sure, but he's left the pot on, and I think for the second time we've actually done Three. it this time. I think we have. It'd be worth trying to pot this, this won't be easy. brown just to make sure of it. And I think it's there. Well so that should be us all over the line. In this frame and uh, leading Seven. going into the interval at 4 0 in a match where you would think that, you know, there's little chance the right of Dave here. Gilbert coming back. Could happen though, we have seen it before. Mentioning absolutely no specific match at all. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it can happen, so we'll have to see. Although, if it is a 20 minute video on Wednesday, either we've completely ballsed it up or. Uh, We've won it in two frames, but uh, there you go. We go 4 0 up. A perfect start for us, but Dave Gilbert really not on his best uh, form today. We will play the break off shot for the fifth frame, as we usually do, just to avoid the um, mid session save glitch happening. And just see Dave's shot. But uh, as always, the whole 
admin spiel. If you've enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below, comment your thoughts as well, and uh, subscribe for regular Snooker 19 content. We're back on Wednesday with the second session, so uh, I hope you'll be able to join me for that. But uh, apart from that, I've been TIJ Gaming. Thank you very much for watching today's episode, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye for now.